and final part of the beauty retouch, we're going to enhance the model's makeup and then finish off by extending her neck. So, to enhance the makeup, all we need to do is come over to the layers panel, create a new blank layer, and change the blend mode of that layer to color. Next stage is to select I on our keyboard or come over to the tools panel and just manually select the eyedropper tool. Then zoom in to the uh, eye and then the makeup just above the model's eye here, if we just take a sample of that, we'll see that by doing that, the color we've just clicked on is sampled into the foreground color on our tools bar. Then we're gonna get a brush by pressing B on our keyboard, making sure that the brush is nice and soft and all we're going to do is come close into the eye and then just paint over the area where the makeup has already been applied. And what we're now doing is painting over the top of the original colour just to bring out the colour just that little bit more. So it's a little bit there. Just be really conservative when you're doing this. Painting over the colour just where you see it around the eye. And we can select that turn that on and off. So there we go. It's just a nice subtle increase in the colour of the uh, makeup of the eye there. And the last part I want to do on the makeup is just to enhance the colour on her cheeks, just to make her cheeks stand out just that little bit more. So another new blank layer, change the blend mode of that to colour. Then press I again to select an area of makeup just on her cheek. It's very, very faint here as you can see. So I'm just going to click just there and sample that into our toolbar. Get the brush, nice big soft brush and then just dab just a little bit of that colour onto her cheeks. Now when you first do that, you might find that the colour just looks a little bit too intense, but not a problem because we can back out, and as this is on its own layer, we can then come over to the layers panel and reduce the opacity of the makeup we've just applied. So we can take it down to zero when we don't see any makeup applied, 100, we see all of it. So somewhere again in between, and I'm probably gonna go for around about 50%. So, there we go, that's the makeup applied. Now I'm going to flatten that layer, and then all we're going to do to enhance the length of the model's neck is we're going to come to our toolbar, and in the toolbar we're going to choose the rectangular marquee tool, like so, and then we're going to make a selection in the top part of the picture and bring it down just beneath her chin. If I just zoom in you can see the selection is just beneath her chin. Then I'm going to go to the top of the screen, choose Layer, New, and Layer via Copy. And if we come over to the Layers panel, we'll see that that area I selected has now been put onto its own layer. I'm then going to select the background layer. I'm going to press M to make another selection using the rectangular marquee tool. But this time, I'm going to make a selection beneath her chin, or just beneath her chin, but above the shoulders. In fact, we can just go over the chin just slightly. As long as you're above the shoulders, everything's fine like so. If I just zoom in, you can see where the selection is. Okay, and again with that one, we're going to go to the top, go to Layer, New, Layer via Copy, and over in the Layers panel, we can see that that selection has now got its own layer. With the Layer 1 selected, which is the first part, which is the, the head, I'm then going to press V on my keyboard to get the Move tool, and what I'm going to do then is just use my up and down arrow keys, in fact, I'm going to use the up arrow key, and just move her head up slightly. So if I zoom in now, you can see that it's moved away from the original picture. Then what I'm going to do is, in the Layers panel, I'm going to select Layer 2, which is the area which was just above the shoulders. I'm then going to go to Edit, and then Free Transform. This brings up these adjustment handles here. Using the top adjustment handle, I'm just going to drag up so that the two parts of the picture join, like so and then press enter or return to commit that. So now if I zoom out, you can see what we've done is extended the neck very, very subtly. And we'll just go from there to there, there to there. And that is basically the retouching. Five days, five stages. So now let's just go through to see where we've come from. If we just flatten these layers, we'll just flatten this down to there and what we'll do is we'll just open up the original picture and I'll drag this onto where we've just come from okay so bring that across hold down the shift key and there we go so now we can see by turning that layer on and off the before and the after the before and the after 
So there you go, five days, five stages, one beauty retouch, as quick and as easy as that. I'll see you next time.